Go to the back there. Huey, you go. Get two other brothers with you. I got three images back there. Two other brothers go with Huey and pick it up from the bottom. Move the trees out the way. Pick the three images up from the bottom and set each one in the front. Don't uncover them. Don't uncover them. Just bring them out and pick it up from the bottom. We're going to deal with this. We're going to deal with this another way. We're going to deal with this in a way it never had been dealt with. I thank God for television because I want to tell you the vision and show it to you. Come on, brothers. Let's move quick, please. Let's bring it on out one by one. Take your time. Get it from the bottom. You let them get through here. You all right, Ellis. You all right. Let them come around. One by one. You're not going to have no excuse. <laughs> Set that one over there. Right there. Right there. Turn, turn it around a little bit. Set that one right there. Set that one right there. Keep your hand on the bottom. Turn it around so the feet is facing this way. All right. Just like that. You good. All right, you good. Thank you. Everybody all right? Yeah. Glory to God. Now, to my so-called Christian women and men who cuss me out, give me the book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. I want everybody to follow me in the Bible because I'm pretty sure. Now, I, I, I hope this go viral. <laughs> I hope it does. All right, follow me in your Bible. 1 Timothy chapter 2, and we're at verse 9. Listen. In like manner also. Bible talking. In like manner also. That women. That who? Women. That women adorn themselves, adorn themselves in modest apparel, in modest apparel with shamefacedness, shamefacedness and sobriety. What? What? What else? Not with broided listen, hair. Listen, 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 good. Not, not with, with broided hair, broided hair, hair decoration, or or gold, gold, or pearls, or pearls, or costly array. Now, many of you have wrote me and said. Makeup is not in the Bible. This is what you church folk look like. One of you brothers get that side for me, will you please? Quickly, please. Come on, brother. Set that over there. Set that over there. Two of you brothers uncover this one. Two of you brothers uncover this one, please. Take your time. Uh -uh. Take your time. Take your time. I don't want you. Take your time. Pick that up down there. That's why you didn't take your time. You took the Christian wig off. Put it on. Now, you Christians, you have so-called Christian celebrities that look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives, you look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this. The Bible says, in like manner also, in like manner also that women Adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is so modest about this? What is so modest about this? 
There were some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said, my pastor don't say nothing. I most certainly know he don't. Your pastor want to see this. Yeah. Your pastor want to see this. Because your pastor want to go here. Yeah. Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah. Yes. Chapter four. Chapter four. Now, for you that says makeup is not in the Bible, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter four. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter four and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see, when you spoiled in these churches, you can look like this. Because the preacher preaches against no sin. T.D. Jakes ain't going to say nothing about this. Creflo Dollar ain't going to say nothing about this. Joel Austin ain't going to say nothing about this. Your bishop, he ain't going to say nothing about this. When you up on the choir like this, your bishop looking at you. Am I right, I said? Amen. Listen. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rinnest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this looks? In vain. In what? In vain. What do they do in vain? Thou shalt make thyself fair. You think you look beautiful, but in God's eyes, your fair look is vanity. Vanity. This is what church has become to. You look on BET, the choirs look like this. Baptist folk. Like this. Non-denominational. Like this. Right. So-called apostolic. Like this. Catholics. Like this. Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Listen now what the Bible says. That thou shalt put a difference. What did it say? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Turn Williams up. Make him louder. Yeah. Leviticus what is it? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus 10, 10. I want all my viewers to get this, get this, get this. Call the ones that hate it and say, look at what that crazy Pastor Jennings got on television now. That's right. You know why some of you upset? Because this look like your mama. This look like your daughter. This look like your wife. This look like your slacking wife. This look like the pastor wife. And that's why you upset with me. Because we call a spade a spade. This is not the look of a Christian woman. No. Talk to me. Somebody posted a video of the excerpt of the clip of me preaching next to some gospel singer. She was dressed like this. Singing about Jesus. Talking about let's sing praises. A gospel singer dressed like this. And yet you men want to fight me. Women, you know why men cuss me out? Because I'm encouraging you to be modest. Because they want to keep playing with you like the slave master. They 
want you to look like a hoe. Go ahead. So they can make it rain. They want you to look like this. So they can keep driving and bumping their horn. They want your daughters to look like this so that old hypocrite can take advantage of your daughter. They want your wife to look like this so they can take advantage of your wife. So that's why they call me nigga. Call me what you want. But we're going to put clothes on our women. Bible said that the women adorn themselves how? In modest apparel. Come here, Sister Bailey. Modest. Come here, Sister Bailey. She's the church photographer. Stand right here. Stand right here. This is modest. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here quickly, please. This is modest. Modest apparel. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? How in the world you expect for a man to come at church and think about Jesus and you looking like a stripper? Talk to me. Bible says, let the women that women adorn themselves how? in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Respectable. Presentable. You may be seated. Even some jobs got a dress code. Am I right, I said? So you on the hip hop network, y'all heard y'all making fun of me and said, oh man, uh, he must really got a whole man for him to lash out. <laughs> All that weak talk. You see, your mothers, your daughters, your niece and aunts, they are like this. You women, you send your daughters out with something tight like this. And these old men looking at your 15, 17 year old daughter. How in the world can you criticize what I'm telling you? Listen, even if I'm not in church, this is morally wrong. Morally, it's wrong. Bible says that women adorn themselves. Go back to the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Back in Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. Let's get the makeup. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? You see, your man, if I use that term, keep you this way. And you're spoiled. Spoiled. And you upset because here I come stripping you out of it. Your man. And for some of you, your man is your pastor. He wants you to dress like this. On the choir. What's wrong with the way God made you? Sister, why you need this? You know your hair's not that color. Sister, why do you need this? You know God didn't make you that way. Why you don't think it's something wrong for you to be in church on a choir like this? Grandma with tights on like this. Men, your wives come out like this. They are right, brothers. They come out like this. How you don't see nothing wrong? Listen. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson, and though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, and though thou rinnest thy face with painting, and in vain. Wait a minute. 
If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. Vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. In vain what? Shalt thou make thyself fair. Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. And that ye may put difference. You can see him. Now, this is what the so-called Christians said. God said he ain't looking at the hour. Give me the book of Samuel when yeah. God sent the prophet down right. to, uh, to the house the house to look among Jesse's house. Right. This is the scripture that they use. I want to get every scripture they got in mind so I can wreck it. They said, God said, come as you are. God ain't never said that. God did not say, come as you are. If you do come as you are, fine. But that don't mean for you to stay as you are. Listen at this in the book of Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 16 and we're right at verse 7. Everybody all right? Samuel, 1 Samuel 16. And at verse 7. Begin at verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel. Look not on his countenance. Don't look on his countenance. Or on the height of his or stature. on the height of his stature. Because I have refused him. I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. The see. Lord don't see as man see. For man looketh on the outward appearance. Man look on the outward appearance. But the Lord looketh on the heart. The preacher switched that around and said, God said he don't look at the outward. God ain't said that. No. Let me prove to you that God do look at the outward. Now, in that scripture, had nothing to do with clothing. No. That scripture had to do with came time that God wanted a king, a future king for Israel. Right. And when the sons of Jesse came by, Samuel immediately responded to the first son that he saw. Right. And God corrected him and let him know, no, 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 don't you look at the Good statue or the height of the statue or none of that because I have refused him. Right. And God was letting Samuel know that what I may get may be the one who you least expect. Right. And the one they least expect was David. Right. Until David was out there keeping the sheep, and uh, Samuel asked, well, look, is all your sons here? Jesse said, no, there's one. And he's a young, rudy-looking fella. He's out there keeping sheep. People didn't know the reason why David was keeping the sheep. It was dress rehearsal because keeping the sheep represented him being a king, and the sheep represented him ruling over Israel. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Right. All right, let's have it. Now in 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 3. This is for you that says God don't look at the outward. You are liars. Right. Your pastor is a liar and your husband. Amen. Listen at what I'm telling you. 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 3. What is it? Who's adorning. Who's adorning. Let it not be that outward adorning. God is saying he don't want you to dawn yourself outward in a certain manner. And what is that manner? Of plaiting the hair. Uh oh. Our women can't plait their hair. And no braids, no plait. What else? And of wearing of gold. Mm. No bling bling. Amen. And or of putting on of apparel. Supposed to be a difference. The Bible said if any man be in Christ, here's what? New preacher. If this the way you dress when you was a sinner, you ain't got no business still dressing like this and you born again. Right. There got to be a difference. Difference. All right. Take that one off, brothers. Two brothers, please. Just take it off. Come on now. Just take it off. I want to get the men. Men. Because a lot of women was complaining that I just got them. Take this hoodie off of them. I don't, I don't need that. I don't, be careful. I don't want to take the whole hoodie off. Be careful. Take the hoodie off because what I want to focus on is what our sloppy men look like. Yes. Now to all men. Go ahead.
I know many of you will write me and say, you ain't got no Bible to justify you doing that. Let's, in the book, how, let's get some Bible. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19. And I want to get power and demonstration from Brother Paul. Read that. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19, and at verse 29. That's what? A man may be known by his look. A man may be known by his look. And one that has understanding by his countenance. Yes. When thou meetest him. When you meet him. A man's attire. A man's clothes. And excessive laughter. And excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. Now I want to demonstrate this. Paul said he demonstrated. Now you men. Will you please explain. You men, will you please explain why do you want your filthy drawers exposed to the public and why are you walking with your pants down like you's a male whore? Am I right, man? Yeah. Am I right, I say? Yeah. Hoorah! Hoorah! You got so-called Christian performers up on a stage like this singing about Jesus like this Preacher sons like this. You know they had this trash reality show called the Preachers. Preachers of LA. And you see them like this. You folks are no Christians. What do this trash got to do with Jesus? First Corinthians chapter 2. Give chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and we're at verse 4. Listen. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but, what? but in demonstration. I'm going to demonstrate this. Amen. Of the spirit of and of the power. Of the spirit and of what? And of power. And of power. That your faith. That your belief. Should not stand in, in, the, what? Wisdom, in the wisdom of men. This is the wisdom of men. The wisdom of men says nothing wrong with looking like this. Right. The wisdom of men say you can be a Christian and look like this. Right. The wisdom of men say God ain't looking at your hour, you're looking at your heart. Right. You see, you men that dress like this, your bishop said, it ain't nothing wrong because that gay man looking. making a booty call. Now I know you don't like this and you know I don't care if you don't. Your father is like this. Grandfather like this. Your son like this. 
father like this, wife like this, mother-in-law like that. And you going to some church. Go ahead. Give me five brothers starting from Damien to Marcus. All five of you brothers. Six of you brothers, come up. Stand from here over. Go over. Right, come on, close it in. Slide down a little bit more. I, I don't want you to block this strange being. Now, we are new creatures because we're in Christ. This is how we should look. Even if we don't have a suit on, our pants ain't got no business sagging. And we ain't got no business outside like this. That's right. Because we are of God. That's right. And the Bible says, he that is of God will hear us. That's right. How in the world can a so-called Christian Look like game bangers. Yeah. Look like hoodlums. Yeah. Look like bank robbers. Yeah. Look like a bunch of hoods wants to run a train on a girl. Why in the world? Oh. Go ahead. Someone said, no, I ain't going to pull it up. Why you ain't going to pull it up? Because anytime you men around each other like this, undoubtedly this is what you're doing. Yes, Call a spade a spade. Yes, Go ahead. You a real man? You're going to have this stuff up on you. But because you're not a real man, you satisfied with it right there. Now, you want the female to look at you here. Because you a trap. Because a real man don't advertise his productive organs. Go ahead up just a little bit. A holy man Pull it up a little bit, just so the hoodlum and the so-called Christian rump is still exposed. The Christian, the godly brothers, should be modest. modest. Not like this just at church and then like that at home. Come out, away from church. You understand? You're not like at this at church and then you like this when you leave church our sisters is not modest in church and this is what some of you folks do you go to church somewhat modest but then you go to the club like this yeah. now if you claim you the Christian you ain't got no business in the club yeah. Bible said you cannot get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. If you claim you represent Christ, why do you look like this, sister? This is not your hair. Who made you hate the color of your hair? Who made you hate the texture of your hair? Who made you hate the color of your skin and the shape of your lips and the shape of your nose? Who made you hate the complexion of your skin? The media made you hate yourself. So these center female performers on the stage looking like strippers, this trash have came in church. You got Jezebel in church. church. The whoredom of a woman. Give chapter and verse. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, and we're at verse 9. Says what? The whoredom of a woman. The whoredom of a woman. May be known in her haughty looks. May be known in her haughty looks. And eyelids. Eyelids. 
Here your eyelids is in the case. Look how fake you are. You hate yourself so bad, you get hair out of a box. You get eyelashes out of a box. You get new lips out of a box. You get fingernails out of a box. Toenails out of a box. God brought you from the man, not from no box. That's right. What driven you to hate yourself so bad until you were called this ugly Jezebel look? Beautiful. What's so beautiful? Give me 2 Kings, the ninth chapter again, verse 22, and again, verse 30. This is the, the look of Jezebel. I want you to follow me in your Bible. 2 Kings chapter 9, starting at verse 22. All right. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? Yes. And he answered, What peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel. So long as the whoredoms of your mother Jezebel. And her witchcrafts are so many. All right, let's see what Jezebel looked like. Down at verse 30. Did you give chapter and verse? 2 Kings chapter 9 and verse 30. Let's get Jezebel look. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, and Jezebel heard of it. Jezebel heard the man of God was coming in town. And she painted her face. Wait a minute. When who? What's, what's the woman's name? Jezebel. What did she do? She painted her face. Makeup. Makeup. Right. Painted. Makeup. She did what? She painted her face. You see, the Bible don't use the word makeup because the word makeup did not exist right. back then. But God covered it face paint. It ain't nothing but face paint. Face paint. She painted what? And she painted her face. Painted. She painted. did what? Painted her face. Do, do, do we got any more? Do we got any more makeup? Do we got any more? I wish you would have had some here. Painted. She did what? She painted her face. That's you, so-called Christian. Now cuss me out. Yeah. Tell me the Bible is wrong. Right. The Bible is right. You're wrong. That's right. That's right. These other celebrities talking about it ain't no man should be teaching on what you should wear. That make the Bible a lie. That's right. The Bible says. And she painted her face. She did what? She painted her face. And she did what? She painted her face. Painted, painted. She did what? She painted her face. Who did it? Jezebel. Who? Jezebel. What do the preacher wives look like? She paint Jezebel. What do the preacher's daughters look like? Jezebel. First lady in the church? Jezebel. Women on the choir? Jezebel. Women on the organ? Jezebel. Women ushers? Women in so-called Christian concerts. Jezebel. Mothers in the church. Jezebel. Jezebel. Glory to God. Glory to God. And she painted her face. She did what? She painted her face. Painted. Now. Painted. They have gotten so backward, the man is not only like this in the so-called Christian church. Am I right, folks? Talk to me. Ricky Smiley. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Ricky Smiley, I got your letter. 
I'll read it tomorrow on our telecast. But before I read it, here's a challenge to you. Grandma Jenkins or whatever you call yourself. The last weekend of July. Give me the last dates of July quickly, please. The last Sunday of July. What date is that? July 29th? What is the last Sunday of July, please? July 29th. Mr. Smalley, I heard all that smack you're talking. Amen. All right. July 29th, Mr. Smalley. I challenge you to an open televised debate. Is it God's will for women to look like this? And is it God's will for you to look like this? Give me the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Now, Mr. Smiley, Tyler Perry. Go ahead. All you fake Christians that hide under Jake's. Jake's can't protect you from what I'm preaching. Jake's can walk around all. If Jake's represent God, why won't he tell Tyler Perry? to come out of your woman clothes. Yeah. Let's get, deal with this with Bible. With Bible, that's right. Hollywood ain't coming in here. Go ahead. Entertainment ain't coming in here. Yeah. The Bible says the Lord is in his holy temple. God church is supposed to be sacred. How in the world can a Christian man or Christian woman look and laugh at a man dressed like some woman Amen. and pay money, pay money to see it? You may say, well, it's my job. Anytime Hollywood can offer you money to dress like a woman, what else will you do for Hollywood? Hollywood is a big pimp. Amen. Any man that get dressed like a woman, you get paid. You have sold your manhood. Amen. You have let your creator down. You sold your manhood for money. He that get his riches. You took your manhood and threw it in the trash for money. A real man ain't putting on no dress. A real man ain't putting on no wig. A real man ain't wearing no lipstick. A real man ain't wearing no fingernail polish. A real man ain't wearing no dress. No. A real man ain't wearing no heels. No. Am I right, I said? 